Hello everyone, today we will continue with the belting for X and Y. This time for the V0, I got one long belting instead of pre cut belts. So, what I will do basically, I will just cut this since I need two. I will cut, I will just cut this in the middle. Then, if we have equal length for the uh, X and Y or A and B. It will be easier to tension it. So uh, my main purpose is running the same amount of uh, length for the belts. So because of that, I will check these two now. They are in the same length or not, and I will do that by comparing the two. So as you, if you can see, tools are side by side now. So I will just follow the that sequence and in, until the ends. And at the ends, I will. If there is, if it's something like that, I will cut that this excess part, so they will be, they will have uh, same amount of teeth. That means they will be. Yes, now they are in the same length. We need this piece and M3 by eight, two of them and two maker's pin nuts. But however, in the kit, it's not a maker's pin nut, but they prepared this one themselves, as I understand. But they are just working. So it will, they will here just hold the um, belts, so it should be fine. So this piece normally will sit like that. That means I routed the belts in this part for the one side and put the nuts in place and screw it. And of course I left same amount of belt excess in the here. So now I will just one screw for that to hold it in place hold in hold this part in place I will wrap the belts now so I'm starting with the bottom one on the left side if you see there is a spacer and on the other side there is a bearing of course the belt will, will turn with the bearing actually I will wrap them together so again for the up part if you see there is a straight, there is a directly bearing on the corner, so it will turn from there. The help of the tweezers. And I will just, oops, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, and let's continue to up. Again, it will turn from the idler. And let's turn this one, oops. Sorry. Um, okay, okay, actually, can I do this? Yeah. Again, let's continue with the uh, bottom. Now I have realized that in here I put the wrong configuration in the, I think the B, B drive. Normally, previously the this spacer was here, so it was not possible to run the belt, bottom belt. So I disassembled the disc carriage and disassembled the disc drive and replaced them. Put the correct version combination, and also I had the three hex nuts in the side of these two frames because I will use a handle mode, so it requires three extra hex nuts. And now we can continue the belting. So again, we work. Continue. I will continue with the bottom one. Bottom one will turn. Just turn like that, and the top one will turn this first bearings, and will go to turn the first bearings, and will reach the pulley. And it will turn around the bearings. Ah, uh, sorry, pulleys. Then it will turn the after again it will turn back on the top bearings and reach here. So in the this drive the top one will just turn it but the bottom one will turn around the first bearings and it will be routed fully like we did in the, this one for the top. And 
here, the top one will turn the bearings and it will go to the carriage. Uh, yeah. It will go to the tool head and the bottom one will turn around the desidler and again turn around the bearing in the joints and the belts are routed now we need to attach these belts to here for the other side so now I will before putting in here let's check the routing correct or not so yeah bottom one will go behind the, this spacer and turn back the top one turn around this bearing and come to the front idler and turn back that's correct and the bottom one we turn from this bearing and again it will yeah again it will turn this bottom bearing and go to the, the other idler and the top one it will come from the front idler and it will turn around this bearing and it will turn around the pulley of the motor and it will come back to this bearing and from this it will go to the next driver and for the next driver the bottom one let me bottom one like we did uh, in here for the top uh, belt we will turn around the bearing and turn around the pulley and come to the second pull, uh, bearing and it will go to the front idler and the top one will just turn around this bearing to go to the carriage and the bottom one after this idler it will turn around this bearing and go to the uh, carriage now put the, this belts i will remove the piece from the carriage um, i'm feeling it will not be easy okay let's start the bottom one uh -huh. it's a little bit of the top one um, first you need to insert this one i just put the this nut but i just put it, I didn't tighten it, I can still tighten my belts so now before doing anything I am checking the belts they are turning around in the correct, I am checking the bearings so the belts are in the correct place now yeah now and i put my motors most outer side so with that i have more room to tighten them because first i will tighten with my hand with pulling this excess belt what i mean now what will i do i will just screw this carriage to help me tightening so what I will do, I will cut the, this excess belt because it's too long and uh, but I will cut the same length I'll tighten my belts what I did, if you pull this in for, for the right one you know we fixed first this left one it's already fixed and there is the same amount of length and for the right one in my case if I pulled if I pull this direction it will be easier to pull the belt if I pull that direction and what I did I pulled the first top one that direction once I'm satisfied I just turn this and hold this belt like this the top one only so with that it will not it is not going back it's not releasing itself what I mean and the bottom one same thing I pulled to that direction it's only bottom one while I'm holding the top one 
pulled and once they are in the same length I again turn this one to right and hold my hand and I just uh, tighten the bolts which is screwed to maker nut beam to hold the belts so right now they are tightened right now they are secured my belts are already tight and I can also fine tune from here and since I put my motors most outer side it's, I have more play room to tension my belt but you need to be careful that first of all your both belts should have same seat number means same length and for this excess belt should also have same length and same tooth number so for now I will cut again the longer one now I will check the gantry again it's, bit, it's a little bit playing in here I, if I really force it, but that's okay. Yeah, it's just, like I said, it's just a little bit moving, but I think that's fine. Yep, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching and we will do prepare the bed in the next one. And see you in the next one.